The mayor of Eugene recently declared Medical Marijuana Week. The mayor of Portland declared uh, the entire month of May Medical Marijuana Month. So for our cover story today, we talk with the Portland man who has probably done more than anyone to get medical marijuana into the hands of Oregonians and tens of thousands of people across the country. Paul Stanford. I started by asking him about the issues past, present, and the future. Well, it's moved forward an enormous amount over the past couple of years. Uh, just a couple years ago, uh, the politicians would not say anything about marijuana, and now you're hearing increasing calls for the taxation and regulation of the adult medical, or the adult marijuana market, and uh, uh, that medical marijuana is accepted by such a wide variety of people, over 70% support. Uh, it, we're just moving into a new era, I believe. The, the winds of politics certainly changed in Washington, D.C. We have a new president. Uh, yeah. uh, where do you think we are uh, based on where we've been when it comes to medical marijuana? Well, we've gone through a long winter of discontent, in my opinion, uh, in terms of uh, the whole Reagan, Bush, uh, reactionary backlash to the progressive movements of the 60s. And I think that... Uh, Hopefully we're moving into a new progressive era like we saw with the New Deal in the, the 30s and 40s where new programs will be instituted. I want to see the taxation and regulation of the adult mar marijuana market. I think that will generate an enormous amount of revenue and shrink the costs for law enforcement significantly. Recently studies have shown that 47 percent of arrests across the United States are for simple marijuana crimes and the majority of those are just possession. And in a lot of states, that is a misdemeanor instead of, like here in Oregon, just an infraction. This is Medical Marijuana Month, but I hear you talking about the expansion of the use of marijuana for adults. Isn't that what the critics feared all along, that medical marijuana was just a stepping stone for legalization? It has been a concern that's been voiced by the opponents to medical marijuana. At first, I wasn't really at the forefront of the medical marijuana movement. I was working for taxation and regulation and kind of fell into the, the clinic business and uh, helping because I had doctor friends who uh, wanted to help patients and they asked me to help facilitate that and that's led to now we have uh, based here in Portland we are ba uh, have clinics in eight states soon to be nine states and just our personnel have grown from 50 employees by over 20 percent since the first of the year. And so while all these other industries are laying people off, we're hiring people and uh, growing pretty rapidly at about 50 percent a year. And we've seen over 60,000 patients right now. By the end of the year, that could top 100,000. You know, earlier this month, uh, California Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger said it was time to debate the legalization of marijuana, even though he says he doesn't support the idea. Nor does President Barack Obama, who said in March he doesn't think legalization and taxation of pot is a good strategy to grow the economy.